In this video you will see a lot of uh, good selling Amazon products which could increase their sales if they would improve their translation in different marketplaces. So my guest is Jana Krekic from YLT Translations. They are specializing in uh, uh, localizing product listings in different uh, Amazon marketplaces. So if you need to translate your product listings from English to Japanese or Spanish, Mexican Spanish, Spanish Spanish or German, they will cover you for sure. So check this video it's a little bit funny you you might laugh at some uh, situations which uh, Jana will show which she discovered and before you continue laughing or before you start laughing check the links below of ULT translations and don't forget to subscribe below to your YouTube channel of Orange Click because here we talk to different Amazon experts and software creators <laughs> Hello Jana, it's nice to have you here. Could you please introduce yourself and tell us what you do in Amazon space? Sure. I'm the owner of Wild Tea Translations and uh, we help uh, in, uh, Amazon sellers expand to international marketplaces. Uh, we have a team of 43 t uh, native translators and uh, they also enjoy and very passionate about what, what they're doing. All right, thank you very much. And can you please tell us what you will be sharing with us in this presentation? I decided to do something uh, which I think it's quite uh, interesting uh, to point out on a lot of bad and poorly done international listings. Uh, and just, you know, I decided to choose some products that are actually selling very, very well, but they have some crazy mistakes. And a lot of these products are pretty, you know, interesting uh, for the audience. So I decided to call my presentation International Listings Gone Bad. And uh, today I'm going to share uh, 15 products uh, that I chose uh, with help of my whole YLD team. And uh, I cannot wait to show you guys. I cannot wait as well. So let's jump into the slides. <laughs> Okay, so um, as I said, I have 15 products, which will be pretty interesting. So let's start with the first one. Okay, so um, this is um, from Amazon.it, Italian uh, marketplace, and it's a bikini for, for women. Now, a lot of people, they don't pay a lot of attention. Like, um, usually, like, what we do, the, the translations and everything, like, you know, that's important. But localization and knowing what, you know, your listings mean in another language are very important for you to understand, at least in the title. Because a lot of times, when you put something in that Google Translate or Maybe you give it to a human translator without ever proofreading that after um, after being published ever again. Uh, sometimes, like there, are the, the title, some words that can be offensive. For instance, this is bikini. Costume de baño dona grasso. This is literally this means this is bikini for fat women. So the, the seller just decided not to use the plus size, but this is for fat women. So this is very insulting and you don't really want to have this in your listing. So pay attention that like you absolutely know what words you're using in your listings and what they mean. Uh, second product, this is, um, yeah, it's quite interesting. It's, um, it says here, Repellente per ultrasuoni. It's a repellent for ultrasounds. So this is supposed to be a mosquito repellent, but it's a repellent for ultrasounds. And uh, also, like uh, this sentence here, for instance, like in the third bullet, this actually means uh, that this provides a sense of security when you sleep in the dark night. So it's a very, very poetic. And the rest of this um, listing is not in a poetic style. So if you want to do something in a certain style, you really have to. Um, just you know have that same approach to like every single information you have in your listing if you want to be like funny if you want to be poetic if you want to be serious like you just have to uh use it in um, in the whole listing and especially it's important to understand that like maybe if you have like a certain style that your listing is written in maybe like on the italian marketplace or german marketplace this is not going to be a good style to use like you know german they don't like to kind of oversell um, the, 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 the listing. They don't like a lot of sales pitch. And so like, if you really want to uh, translate and localize your listing to another marketplace as you should, you should really pay attention to localization and the style so that it's very appropriate for um, the other uh, marketplace, definitely. 
um, this next product and this looks really weird. This looks like a little slipper, right? But this is actually a brush for the cat. And um, Augusta, you know some Spanish, right? So um, yeah. this actually here says, what does it say in the title? Uh, it says basically cat brush for the blue cat. This is Pilo Gato del Gato Azul. So this is a blue cat cat brush. So this is very weird. And also, like in the the, the bullet, it says that uh, eliminar um, los animales domésticos. It means it says that it uh, eliminates. It can eliminate domestic animals. So this is one weird blue cat's blue brush, but this product is, uh, you know, they don't have reviews here, uh, but there are a lot of written reviews for this product. So it's basically, you know, um, something that is selling. So, you know, even though you don't have like, for instance, like these sellers, they don't have like an optimized listing and they're like selling something for the blue cat, just because they're going to put like tons of like random words in the title they're still selling the product so just imagine what more they could do if they optimize the listing the right way like if they're all bullets if they all made sense for instance when i read this uh, in spanish i think spanish person would not even think it's about uh, blue cat they would just read four lines of uh, random words for me it looks like yeah. just random words they just put all the keywords possible and also in the description also it looks like just kind of translation connected with some keywords like that doesn't make sense anything yeah at all yeah, yeah. Like... but you know but, but yeah but basically you know like they put but the, the thing is that they they put the blue in front of the cat so in a lot of languages how it works is like the adjective comes before the noun and then this adjective is actually you know it's connected with the noun uh, it's followed a uh, full uh, by so uh, they just didn't even check where to put the blue you know so they kind of made it like the blue cat and it didn't make make any sense so it's you know just uh, uh, be, there are so many sellers that don't even pay attention to like does it make any sense uh, when it comes to the title a lot of people are like okay the, the key, title is for keywords and it is but it actually has to make sense for somebody to read it um, yeah. as you said very very misleading um, okay next uh, product this is actually a bestseller product has like you know 800 you know reviews and actually the newer is what i got for uh, a little studio for the lightning so i, I know this brand very well and uh, you know they are just also selling the accessories for cameras as well and tons of other stuff now the first thing we see here is there's there are a lot of things going on in this picture on the left there's like whoa like what is this right and then like when you get to get, go to but like the first bullet here, it says like this, um, it's like accessories for, um, accessories actually for, for you, like when you're on holiday, when you're flying, fishing or backpacking, but like flying here, it's gonna refer to you like you growing wings and flying off somewhere. It's not like get like I'm flying, taking, you know, hopping on a plane. It, it's not the same connotation. So it's a clearly uh, direct translation from English, but you cannot say it like that, especially like not on, in plan in, in, uh, in Spanish. So, you know, we haven't heard of any like flying tourists yet and stuff like that. So you cannot like use this as it is. Um, and uh, also like for the backpackers, Haciendo uh, Moquileros, it means like making backpack, back, making yeah. backpackers. So yeah. it doesn't yeah. make any sense. And this is a product that's been selling very, very well. 800 reviews. Uh, I mean, four and a half star review. This is like amazing and has all these like crazy pictures. So just imagine what this um, uh, seller could do if they just optimized it and their bullets actually made sense because, you know, this is a little bit of a ridiculous text here. Um, okay, uh, next product, it's also a Spanish one. And the thing is that this is a diary notebook. It has like a bullet, bullet notebooks. Like when you open it, you have like those little dots. But the problem here is that and they, they use in the uh, third bullet, they, they, they use un di uh, Diario de Balas. Balas are gun bullets. <laughs> so it says like the, the notebook with some gun, a gun bullet journal. So you don't want to use that. And especially you don't want to like use that and then think it's a keyword. And then just because you're going to translate it from English and you just put that in your PPC campaigns or that you, you know, when, 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 um, when the, 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 the buyers, when they, they type like a gun bullet journal, you don't want to be ranked for that. But anything what has to do with ammunition bullets or anything uh, close to that. So really pay attention to what you're 
doing. Um, this is a, this is, I just had to put this in my presentation. This is a well, brilliant uh, product. It's a duct tape, but they found it another uh, purpose for this uh, product as like a um, uh, travel mug holder in your car. <laughs> so they just decided to put this like, is that one, like one of the pictures um, it says like original, you know, duct tape, it's fine. But also then hashtag getrenke halta which is a, a, a drink holder. So um, I know a lot of people like look for inspiration, for instance, you know, in your um, reviews, like you can find that some people are using your product to solve their problems that you didn't even think of they could solve. I think that the, the seller just uh, was very, very creative and then just put the Getrenke Halta and then, you know, just kind of decided to rank for that and decided to put this as a, as a drink holder, which is, quite innovative and I see, I think it's uh, quite um, interesting they use that uh, keyword for their product. But uh, um, do you think uh, that product, uh, do you think it can um, affect, uh, I know, conversion or even algorithm of Amazon when you are, you know, he's putting, trying to target get drink, drink holder yeah. keyword, but uh, yeah. people see it and obviously they will not buy this thing because no, not... but you know, I think, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is absolutely, I mean, this is the wrong keyword to be ranked for because you're just wasting your money because a lot of people won't buy it. But I think that he was maybe trying to be, be like creative or something and be like, okay, like maybe if people see my product and they see this picture, they'd be like, oh my God, I'm going to buy this or something, you know, like maybe out of fun or something. Um, I was reading the, the reviews and uh, nobody was um, saying anything about the, the drink holder, but a lot of people were praising the high quality of this product and see it has a really good uh, review, but uh, I mean, not in the case of the, <laughs> the drink holder. So mm -hmm. um, we had to see, I think this was just like made just for fun. I don't know. Like I would love to talk to the seller and just see, you know, see his thoughts about <laughs> this product. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, next product. This is from Braun. And Braun is a very, very well-known manufacturer of all sorts of gadgets and products. So they're selling this, um, uh, the shaver, uh, the electric shaver for, for hair removal. So what they did here is that Raziakopf is the right keyword. That, that's the, the shaver. But then they use the Tuberha Rasenmäher. Rasenmäher is their second strongest keyword that they're ranked for. And actually, Rasenmäher means lawnmower. <laughs> now, I know that, you know, a lot of people have a lot of hair, but I mean, using the lawnmower for this is just terribly wrong. And this is absolutely wrong keyword to be ranked for. And whenever you're doing the keyword research, please do the keyword research for every marketplace separately. Because what can happen is that um, in one language, this could be fine. And then you can translate that in Google Translate and get some random word that isn't even a keyword does it even have to be like a highly searched volume keyword? It can just be like a random choice of word and it, you don't rank for that. Whatever you do, like if you have translators that don't have any Amazon experience, just always tell them to check the main keywords in the title they used by using the keyword and just putting it on Amazon. So, you know, if this um, translator doesn't do any keyword research, he can always check if this is something which describes the product correctly or not. So if the, if the translator put the Rasenmäher in Amazon, he would get the lawnmower and then it'll be like, oh, right, I really need to change this and then, you know, go back and change something for another word. So this is definitely something you always need to double check, at least in the title. Um, okay, yeah, this is a cool product. It's a, it's a knife sharpener, but here in the title, we have the Asesino uh, knife, which means <laughs> that this is the sharper, which will help literally serial killers to sharpen their knives. <laughs> so you really don't want to you know, have the serial killer knife and very interesting um, a choice of yeah. words, uh, definitely. Uh, now, this product is also, it doesn't have a lot of good reviews, but um, I read through them and uh, but it, it's, it, it's definitely selling, um, but uh, it has uh, not that good reviews because it's not high quality product. And there are a lot of problems uh, with this product, definitely. Uh, so what, on this picture, there's like four mistakes. Um, three mistakes here. First of all, it says Nase Verbesserung. It means that no, no, nose improvement. So this looks like this will be able to 
change your nose somehow, you know, like in a medical operation or some other way, or maybe kind of enhance your nose. So we don't actually know here, but like seeing the nose for Vaseline just means kind of nose improvement. Uh, then this Gyla plug, Gyla Plague, this is also something which is kind of offensive. It's not good to use it. Like they wanted to say like, um, you know, um, awesome skin, like, you know, awesome plug, awesome skin. But this means kind of, this meaning of the Gyalus, I think Gyalus means lustily. So it means, uh, they want to say awesome, but it says like, uh, lastly, uh, skin. So it's kind of really on the edge of being uh, inappropriate to use in a listing. Definitely not awesome as they wanted this to be. And then this, like, pores schmutzig klar. This means pores dirty clear. So, you know, is it like, what is this? Are they dirty or are they clear? They cannot be dirty clear. So uh, completely out of context and literally just, you know, translated as it is. I'm quite surprised to see this. This is like an A plus content and they have a lot of this um, A plus content, a lot of pictures. They use a really good template for A plus content, but I mean, obviously they have like this horrible mistake in one of their pictures. Um, also like uh, staying with this product, uh, it says here that um, this product is actually using the toilet lo lotion. They're using the toilet lotion in this product. Um, and this is how your pores get uh, anger. It means more narrow by using the toilet lotion <laughs> in this product. So again, um, they really tried because it's a very long listing, a lot of pictures, A plus content, probably, you know, spent some money investing in that. But then, you know, you make such terrible mistakes like these and it really doesn't make much sense uh, to whatever you're doing. Um, next product is a baby kit. And this is a really, I mean, if you want to be funny, just keep it funny throughout your whole listing. Because like this is kind of, it's like a regular listing. It's fine. And this is a, a bestseller as well. Also on Amazon Choice, uh, 977 reviews. So a brilliant product. Obviously, they know what they're doing. But in third bullet, they say like, you know, uh, this can be like used when you are turned into an, a, a monstrous adolescent. So adolescente monstruoso, when you become one, then you can remember how small you were like by using like this kid. So it's a, it's a really, you know, one day you become a monstrous adolescent. Uh, and also like in their product description, they say that uh, the kid is made of hands and feet. <laughs> That's it. The kid frame is definitely made from your baby's um, hands and feet, which doesn't make any sense. Once again, this is a, 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 a very, very good product, obviously selling tons and still has some crazy parts like this. So this is just, you know, it's, it's insane. Um, it's also like this yoga um, accessory. Uh, in the title, it says Excrateur de Chevet, which means ankle extractor. This literally like reminds <laughs> more of an instrument of torture than of a salutary <laughs> yoga accessory, honestly. Uh, and also it says here, uh, facile pour vous de construire différentes parts. So this means that um, it's easy for you to build up different parts of your body. So they're literally saying here that you can grow some new parts of your body by using this ankle extractor where they probably, you know, um, their intention was to say that yoga accessory helps sculpt various body parts, not to build them from non-existing parts. So this was just horrible. Uh, now, this is a very interesting product. So this is a product, uh, which is a skull. Uh, you can use, uh, it's like a movie, uh, movie uh, accessory you can use in, in the movies. But the thing is that they used wolf, cat, people, dinosaur, gorilla skull. So obviously, we can be also like humans and dinosaurs and everything with absolutely the same skull. So they use like all of them. And also like when you go into specifics, like technical details, the, the, the color says wolf and uh, <laughs> it's 800 kilos weight of a wolf. Like boy, like that's uh, one heavy wolf. So it's like, you know, this is just, you know, it's insane. Like, and I think that, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's selling, you know, like the, the reviews are that it's a really high quality product and I understand that it's not for everyone, but you know, it's just, uh, you know, you don't want to be misleading. You don't want to give wrong information. You really have to, um, you know, sit and just decide, talk to your team or whatever. What are the main keywords that you want to be 
rank for, especially when you start selling on international marketplace and you really have that kind of, you know, the, the, the sweet honeymoon period. You don't want to ruin it just by, you know, being uh, ranked for wrong keywords and also absolutely using wrong keywords in our PPC campaigns. Uh, okay, and this product is, um, you know, it's something that we use nowadays in summer. And, but in German, uh, it's used, uh, so fea is the good uh, word. If you put uh, fea or, or luftfea, you're going to get like all, all, all the, the, these products. But the problem here that the seller was using a lot of luft, luft, lufta, um, fault luftas, and this is basically he's using a fair equally as many times as a lufta, maybe even lufta more. So I don't know why they decided to do that because when you put the lufta, you're gonna get a little fan, and this is not the fan. So it's definitely you're not gonna say like, okay, I want to look for a small fan, and then you 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 would find this product, and it's highly unlikely that you're going to buy it. So once again, please like to do it today. Like if you're already selling on international marketplaces, if you use Google Translate or some, you know, Fiverr translator, go and check every single word in your title and see what shows up for those products on Amazon. Maybe you did this mistake and you have no idea that you actually uh, did it and it's hurting your listing and your sales. And this product, uh, Essential Kitchen Tools. So this is basically just like a lot of mix of English and Italian words, and it's not good. First of all, like you should avoid using um, English keywords in the title um, because a lot of times like English words have a different meaning in a uh, foreign language. Like uh, we also had a situation with this um, chewing toy toy for dogs and uh, the seller just decided to leave like English and French in the title. and. It had the word pet, pet is an English word for your dog, for instance, but pet in French means fart. <laughs> so you don't want to have that because people will probably be reading that in French, not in English. So the problem with this product here in the title is that uh, the, the processore, this is uh, like a computer processor, processor, like your Pentium processor and computer. Uh, literally this title means like a vegetal, uh, onion pro processor, like a computer uh, processor, hand mo motorbike, chopper, the like Italians for motorbike, um, and then uh, a fast fruit vegetable precision knife and slicer chopped. Like it leads like a bunch of nonsense. Uh, it's like, you know, list of chopped ingredients for soup. Like this is how it literally like this title looks like. And uh, especially wrong because like the main keyword, the food processor is used at the wrong processor for your computer. So you would not be able to be ranked for what you want. And this would be absolutely wrong. So um, a lot of uh, listings, like we found tons of products. Like it's unbelievable how many people make mistakes like these. And uh, it's quite more often than you think. And you, by, by seeing these examples, you can say that a lot of very big sellers have some crazy listings. So it's not only you know, small sellers that really cannot, you know, uh, maybe afford a high quality service, but some really, really big sellers really don't pay attention enough to, um, to these things. I think a lot of people could increase their sales immensely. And, you know, if you're a seven figure seller, I think you can easily be an eight figure seller if you optimize your listings because you're clearly doing things right. You're selling your product. You have like five star reviews. You have tons of reviews, but you're using completely wrong words and some of your bullets are sounding ridiculous. So if there are a lot of you today uh, who are listening to this and maybe you haven't ever checked your listing, maybe somebody, your uh, friend from Italy or your cousin from Spain did your translations, please check your titles and see if you have all the right words that you need for your listings. Um, and this is for the end. This is the Fossil Watch. So Fossil is a brand and what they decided to do in the title is in the Dutch, they put the, this, this should be like a, this should be like a fossil uh, as a brand used in the title, but it went wrong and they put the, um, uh, the brand and they put it uh, that this product is for fossil men. So for fossils, so for very, very old men, instead of using that as a brand. So you don't want to be uh, selling the product, especially 
This looks like, uh, you know, uh, a sports watch, which you can like work out with. I don't think a lot of fossil men use this watch for workouts. So double check your listings today and make sure that you don't have, have any of these uh, crazy mistakes. Um, thank you so much for listening. And uh, if you guys want to get in touch or if you want to get a feedback of your um, listings, you're welcome to um, reach out to us. Uh, you can send me an email at yana at yalt-translations.com and we'll be more than happy to, to help you out and uh, point out to all the low-hanging fruit in your listing and tell you how you can um, improve it and definitely increase your sales. Thank you, Jana, for a very funny presentation. I have a question. So obviously we saw that some people, some companies, they are trying to target with the same listing uh, multiple keywords which are not related. What is your suggest suggestion? Not, to, for example, the skull of the wolf and they were putting uh, other, like there was dinosaur or some other keywords. So do you suggest to like not even think that direction, not, not to put unrelated keywords? Uh, well, definitely you should not, I don't think you should use them in the title. I think the title should be reserved for only the right keywords that absolutely describe your product 100%. And what I would suggest, if you want to be also like that skull, like you want to target uh, people, you know, like dinosaur or humans, wolves, whatever, put it in your back end. Um, a lot of times it's a good idea to use the search related uh, terms in your back end because a lot of times, you know, the, your product will pop up as a suggestion, like, you know, uh, he who bought this will maybe buy this together. Like if you're type, if you're uh, buying this, uh, uh, a beach umbrella, maybe it's good if you're selling a, um, if, if somebody is selling a beach umbrella, maybe they can put like flip flops in their uh, back end search terms as a related search terms, because it could often be bought together like these two items. And a lot of people would maybe think like, Oh, right. I need some flip flops. So it makes sense, but I would not suggest like the seller to put that like flip flops and umbrella definitely in the title. So I would suggest if you want to put any search, uh, any related keywords you want to use, put them in your backends or somewhere in the listing, but not in the title. It's often misleading and you don't want to be ranked, um, especially like as a you know, top ranked keywords, you want the, the search related um, keywords. I would always uh, suggest that you use search related keywords for um, not in, definitely to be in your top 10 keywords, because I'm pretty sure that your product has more relevant keywords that this should be ranked for and not using those um, index keywords for some, you know, um, related um, items. And uh, do you have any tips for Amazon sellers in terms of the pictures and the writings on the pictures? So if we talk about European marketplace, the default situation is that uh, people upload a picture and it's visible in all five or six marketplaces. Do you have any tips what they could write on those images? Which language? Well, the thing is that Amazon for now, unfortunately, only uploads these main images in English. So you cannot change uh, the language on these images. I've heard that Amazon is uh, beta, beta testing uh, this and that supposedly this is going to happen by the end of this year, that we will be able to have different images for different marketplaces. So in that case, um, I would definitely recommend that you take advantage of that because all people want to see their language, you know, like written on pictures and stuff. Also, like when doing packaging, like always write something like, you know, I would suggest uh, if you want to invest um, in everything properly, like definitely have the packaging written on foreign language. But what you can do is like, let's say that Amazon does not change the rule for main images and everything is left in English. If you have A plus content, definitely use those pictures over there. You can use them and, um, and write whatever you want on a foreign uh, language. So if you have uh, you know, a German product, your main images will stay in English, but if you have A plus content, just use everything you can like on the images and stuff to be written in German. And this is uh, definitely something everybody should strive to do. All right. Thank you very much for your tips. So lastly, but uh, how people can get in touch with you? You already presented your website, right? YLT, YLTtranslations.com? Yeah, YLT-translations.com. And uh, you guys should definitely uh, check out our Facebook page. We post um, video tips, uh, did you know stuff, and it's all related to um, international selling, uh, you know, building your global empire. Uh, so it's uh, quite interesting, very unique information. So uh, definitely like our Facebook page. Thank you, Jana, and good luck in your business. Bye-bye.
I do hope you enjoyed this funny video and uh, if you need your product listings translated check uh, the ULT translation website contact them I'm sure they will cover you in a lot of different languages across Europe and the world and now I would like to invite you to watch another another video with uh, Jana Krekic where she is also sharing a few other uh, discoveries of mistakes Amazon sellers do when they are translating their mistake, uh, listings.